Hi everybody, Alyssa Prettyman here, and this is a self-massage session for your quads. Your quads are those big, meaty sets of muscles that run down the front of your legs. Um, they can get sore when we bike and hike a lot, um, and they can also influence knee tweakiness um, and, and help with um, making our knees feel better actually. So this is a, a self-massage sequence for the quads. This is one of two that I'm going to do because I'm going to do another 10 minute sequence at the wall. And if what we're doing on the floor feels like it's a lot for your um, upper body or elbows or strains your neck, then uh, consider taking the wall version because you'll get a very similar release pattern and release options. You just won't have to manage body weight on your elbows or on your arms. So the massage tools that I'm going to use today are the gorgeous squishy ball, which is just going to act to help me float above the ground a little bit. And then the alpha ball, which I'm going to use for massage. Now, if you don't have either of these, could I just use my forearms against the floor instead of the squishy ball? Sure. Could I just use a tennis ball on the front of my quads? Absolutely. These two things will make it a little bit easier to get a deep massage without working too hard. But if you only have one small ball for the front of your legs, that's fine too. <clears throat> You'll see what I mean as we get started. If you, if you have a support tool from the squishy ball, put it down. You want to use the support tool of the squishy ball. There's, there's proper English for you. So I'm going to put that squishy ball against one of my hips. And then I'm going to massage the other quad. So I'm going to put that nice big blue ball at the top oh, of my quads. And I'm going to stay on my forearms, but if you want to relax the weight on your upper body, just come down completely and rest your head in your hands. For me, that kind of clunks up the microphone a bit, so you're going to see me stay elevated. So we want to feel that that ball is on the meaty muscle at the top of your leg. I like the alpha ball because it's slightly larger than a tennis ball and it's a little bit easier for me to feel it here. Some of the tennis balls might not feel like they're digging so deep at this point, but don't worry, the closer you get to your knee, the more you're going to feel them. So let's just contract and relax a little bit. Squeeze that quad muscle and relax. Squeeze like you're trying to Push that ball into the ground. You might come with the knee lifts and relax. Got my toes tucked under back there as I do this contract and relax. If you wanted to do it with the foot flat, you could try it that way too. See if it feels a little bit different. Okay. Let's move down a notch and do the same thing. So I'm going to roll about halfway down. It's easy because I have that other ball underneath my hip to just kind of slide forward. And then contract and relax again. Squeeze and release the quads and let that ball sink in. Remember, you can always relax off the elbows and come down onto your chest. Let's try one more zone where we take a few breaths. Inhale, give it a nice contract, squeeze those leg muscles, and exhale, relax around the ball. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. Ah, okay, yeah, a little more sensitive down here as you get closer to the knee, right? Another thing that you can do is start to lift the leg and swing it back and forth. And you might feel like thwump, thwump, you're going over some, ugh, some little ropey cable-like musculature there. Or it's called cross fiber we're going across the grains of the muscle fiber, as opposed to up and down in the directions that they run. Try that at a couple heights. Maybe shift your hips back a little bit, get higher on the thigh, and then lift the leg and swing it out back and forth. See how that feels. And what I notice is if I kind of break it into sections, how different the various sections of the quads feel. Another thing I can do here at any height is balance on my forearms and swing my whole body over to the right and over to the left. 
And this is one that that squishy ball makes a huge difference in just helping me move with ease and, and get a nice side to side massage. I can climb up a little bit. So if the ball moves down the leg, I can swing the leg side to side or swing my whole body side to side. And you could try that at just about any level. Holy moly, closer to the knee. So crazy. What becomes really easy with the squishy ball is sliding all the way up and all the way down. All the way up and all the way down. If you tuck your toes, you can kind of point and flex a little bit, but then usually you have to reset, crawl forward and point and flex. And that's how you go up and down. And it's a little more work because you have to forearm plank. You have to squeeze the belly muscles, push the floor away with more force. Okay, so now we're just going up and down, either in little spurts or perhaps just relying on that roller ball underneath the outside head to make it easy for us to float. Whew. And release. Okay, come on up through hands and knees table. Let's try the other side. So I'm just gonna turn myself around. You keep the ball set up the exact same. I'm going to place the squishy ball near that outside hip. I'm going to place a nice firm ball at the top of that other leg. So remember, we talked through a few techniques. One was contracting and relaxing, squeezing and releasing. Doing that with the toes tucked or the foot flat at a couple different heights. So after three or four, Inhale, squeeze, exhale, release. Perhaps even spending a little bit of time at the base of that exhale to really soften around the ball. Move to one more spot, a little bit lower on the quads. Squeeze and release there. Okay. And then I'm going to lift the leg. I'm going to start to swing it side to side. Oh, holy moly. This side is even crazier than the first. And after I swing side to side with that leg, lift and kick it out. I'm going to move up or move down a little bit and swing. So the first technique was contract and relax. The second was swinging the leg out to the side. And I'm doing that, I'm kind of testing out three different zones, upper quads, middle, lower, right closer to the hip, halfway down, closer to the knee. And then I can go side to side by swinging the hips as well. Just dragging body weight side, move up a little bit, side to side, side to side. And after I've contracted and relaxed and gone side to side, then it can be a fun time to go up and down. You can go on, on a long journey, it kind of feels like you're flying like Superman. Or you can go in little chucks, point and flex the feet. Move up a little bit, point and flex the feet. It's not abnormal for the balls to go a wandering. And for you to have to reach down and manually adjust them from time to time. Go up and down for a few more breaths here. Noises as they drag along the ground. Sounds. <sighs> and when you're ready, press up off the massage balls and perhaps even come into a kneeling position. 
<sighs> Notice how that feels. And if you notice that there's any strain around your neck or shoulders or arms as a result of that sequence, check out the video where we talk about quad rolling at the wall. Um, and just bring, you'll only need a single firm ball for that one. And you can see if that one works any better for you. Otherwise, this one is great because you can get a lot of deep pressure and you can work a few different techniques. Thanks so much for rolling with me. I'll see you next time.